Alrighty, so uh, we have uh, <laughs> the the new best unit in the game, the new Demon Chandler, and uh, obviously he's not that good. Uh, there's a lot of you know skepticism, I guess, around this unit. Uh, we tried about a little bit last night on stream, and it honestly didn't go too bad. Uh, I feel I beat every Bond team that I went up against, but any other team. Uh, I lost to, which I'm pretty sure it was two unknown teams that ended up just kind of like att attack sealing me into submission, um, which is probably the biggest problem that having this Chandler on the team creates. Um, the fact that he has two attack cards. There's no debuff cards in on in the deck for this car, you know, for this you know thing, uh, and. Uh, there's no stance cards or anything like that, so it's really not great uh, for the fact that you have to worry about getting attack sealed. Uh, that is by far the worst part, but I mean, you can see he actually does pretty good damage. This is geared PvP, of course, so, you know, take that with a, a grain of salt, but I'm, I'm honestly, like, I don't hate his performance, but he, he still doesn't add anything to the team that the team actually needed so do be aware of that um i don't think that he's necessarily like a bad character i think that he just he his stats are a bit lackluster but compared to you know two festival units that you're running him with he's not gonna be like you know crazy insane um that's just kind of the nature of the whole thing but um yeah, I don't know, man. It just... He's not that bad. Like, he's okay at best. But, you know, I, like I said, the only things that are holding him back is his his kit is a bit weird. His ultimate doesn't make any sense why you would give him that ultimate. Like, the old Chandler at least has a nice AoE ultimate, which is cool. This, this Chandler has a stun. And it removes buffs and stances, which is really like it's literally the original Meliodas's ultimate which doesn't make any sense why you would give him that like why and the only thing that they did to it was they made it to where at 6-6 six, six, it's a two turn stun which is a <laughs> big win for the community baby uh, I don't know it just it's really bizarre to see um, them do this to a character uh, especially I mean I don't think that a whole lot of people are super um, you know, what you might call it? Uh, I don't think a whole lot of people are like dying to. This is a tough call right here, actually. Um, I don't think everybody's like dying to have like a brand new, like super cool Chandler or anything like that, but just having a nice Chandler would have been great. Um, you know, Chandler's a pretty cool and interesting character. Um, might get wrecked by this ultimate here. He also has a gold card in hand, which is not great. Uh, I guess we'll see how well... Oh, well, I encroached, actually. I forgot. Um, so that's hopefully going to save me here. Very cool. I don't think he has a very high old level either. Uh, plus, he has no debuffs. Plus L. Plus ratio. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so, I don't know. He just... He just doesn't fit the team. Like, he doesn't really do anything that you that you need. So, kind of just unfortunate more than anything else. I mean, what are you going to do? But, I don't know. Hopefully, he gets a decent relic. That's literally the only reason that I summoned was so that way I can hope that in the future he'll get a halfway decent relic and I'll have him already powered up and ready to go whenever it comes out. I'm not going to be, you know, I'm not going to be happy about spending dog uh, relic materials on it, but oh well. Alrighty, we have a Bond team. Uh, also, for the record, I only bought this one outfit. This is the one UR outfit that I bought for him. I didn't buy the other one because I I try to do, for non-festival units, I try to make it to where I buy at least one outfit for the character so that way I can kind of show them off to a, a better capacity. Uh, but, you know, if they're not festival units, more than likely they're not going to have, like, insane, crazy performance like you would kind of expect uh, from a festival unit, of course. So, it, you know, he's he's not got max cosmetics or anything. I didn't even upgrade any of them because I'm actually working on the old Chandler's cosmetics right now to hopefully try and do some stuff with Top 100 next week whenever Waylo gets added. Uh, I'm 
still very skeptical on whether or not I'll actually be able to compete, but uh, you never know. Uh, we're probably going to get wrecked here because he has a an evasion stack on, unfortunately. And he's got Tarmio Link, and he's got a status or a stance on. So that is uh, very unfortunate. I guess uh, let's just get rid of Arthur and. Oh, well, it used it anyway. Uh, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do there, to be honest. So, we'll cut off some of his support. That should help a little bit, but depending on... I didn't even actually look at his ultimate level. I'm sure it's somewhat high. Uh, he's probably going to wreck me here, because... <laughs> I, it seems like the people that are actually running the Bond team are people who pulled multiple copies of Reinhard, which is definitely understandable. Like, that's the way you want to go. Like, he... I don't... I don't know if it's running the or worth running the bond team if you don't have like a high ultimate on this guy because his cards do well and I think that you can still win without going for ultimate level but it's like almost a guaranteed win and just super easy to rush an ult with either bond or Reinhard and immediately just win the game if you have high ult level so um, I'm actually really surprised. I don't know. I, let me check his ultimate level because that was ass. I, oh, it's actually only it's either 1-6 or 2-6 because he only got one buff. It is 2-6, so makes sense to me, pal. Um, I guess I need to make sure not to use AoEs here so that way I can try to... not encroach the other two so that way I can kill them whenever I get past this. Oh, I forgot. He removes buffs. That is probably the only time that is going to come in handy. <laughs> is going against the Bond team. Unfortunately, I encroach here. I completely forgot he removes buffs. So, I guess I could have just removed his removed Twigo's buffs and then went for <laughs> uh, I should hopefully still be able to kill him. Ooh, gold card? Okay. Oof. Melly and Chandler dead. Okay. That's rough. Um. And he's still got debuff immunity on. That's ridiculous. Alright, well. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to kill now. So, big rip. This ultimate is not great at 1-6, especially against the Bond team because it only lowers attack. If, if it lowered HP first, uh, it'd be much better, but oh well. Alright, we got Old Chandler versus New Chandler. Um, I'm actually surprised I'm out seasoning so much because normally, from my understanding, on Mondays and Tuesdays, those are like the days that everybody is, like all of the whales are like running PvP. So that way they can... Uh, Monday, so that way they can get into the bracket they want to get into, and Tuesday, so that way they can test out the new character if there's a banner drop. Um, but I'm really not going against anybody super high CC right now. I mean, it's the middle of the day, so maybe they've already messed with the character at this point. I don't know, but uh, you know, everybody's got their own schedule. I would, I would expect a, a couple people. I mean, obviously nobody's using the new Chandler so far, um, so that's obviously a, a pretty telling sign. But uh, yeah. All right, going for the going for the first turn darkness, kind of a kind of a weird play. Gotta be honest. Um, I can remove those buffs, so it's kind of cool. I uh, can get everybody to three stacks and encroach Chandler here, and then I might as well just push the ult and hope this kills Chandler. I am going to encroach my, or not encroach, but I am going to, nice, okay, ooh, no, I'm going to encroach somebody else now, I wasn't expecting that to kill, boom, now he's disabled, which is very unfortunate, because I just pulled his ultimate, ah, uh, that was very bad, <laughs> I should have, I should have at the very least targeted melee just in case that was going to happen, but I wasn't expecting that much damage, because I was removing my own buffs by attacking, blah, 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 I don't know. I'm kind of just stupid, but it's okay. 
All right. I my Esteros is encroached now. Boom, boom. Still didn't kill me. Kind of surprising. Uh, I'm still encroached for this turn though. I don't know what the best course of action would be here, really. I guess we're gonna go for this to put on some stacks. Okay, decent damage there. I'm hoping that the 6-6 six, six damage on its own will kill. Nice. Very epic. Alright, let me buy two more tickets and we'll do the five match sweep on these boys. Alrighty. Okay, got another bond team. 309's pretty good. I think the higher ones that I see are like a little above 310. Um, uh, what do I go for? I guess let's try to make sure that I can get rid of Arthur at any given point. Of course, everybody's running Tarmiel Link on, on him, which is really dumb. I mean, it's not dumb, I guess, but it's annoying more than anything. I wish... I guess the only thing that I wish that his buff removal card did was it, I wish it removed stances at level one as well. Like I, that might be a little overpowered, but if it removes stances at level one or even level two instead of level three, um, you could you could get rid of Arthur stances. You could get rid of other like Chandler stances. You could get rid of Deanne stances if they're doing the ult rush team. Um, I don't know. Like, obviously, without without a rank up character, which the meta has definitely shifted away from, like people don't use Gothers like nearly as much anymore. Um, it's kind of just tough, like to you know do that. It's kind of tough to get a level three card in general. Like, it's hard. So, um, I'm still good to use this. That'll encroach him. And then let's merge this and hopefully that will kill. Ah, I might have messed up. Now nah, we're good. Okay. I just didn't wanna I didn't wanna use two cards and then accidentally kill and then you know be in a bad spot. Now I have ultimate. Um this guy could potentially give me trouble but i have tarmiel link on so it shouldn't be the worst in the world like i said my ultimate's not not anything impressive so we should be able to um it's gonna be a real toss-up on whether i actually kill here going for melee is actually kind of a smart play here because well i don't guess it's like a smart play per se but all right well we're gonna encroach both of them we're gonna ult and i'd love to use this on somebody but maybe we don't maybe we remove use the ultimate and then get rid of bond i would love to have checked which one had a higher ultimate level but i'm just gonna take the gamble here and say that his reinhardt's probably lower because of the outfit that he's using. I could very well be wrong though. So he is encroached either way. I think this is the better play. I think if I would have just relied on the ultimate and encroached both of them, I don't think I would have, I don't think it would have worked out. So uh, we also have Chandler's ultimate now. So we could stun. I, th I think he's got a high ult though, unfortunately. Goodbye. Okay, not too bad. Um, is he debuff immune? He is debuff immune. So he's 6-6, six, six, I think. Yeah, because he's got all debuffs on. Well, at least we don't encroach here. He's got four stacks on. So it's lit Okay, he gets increased stats. He's going to have to hit me with a gold card. As long as I survive, hopefully, I can, I can get this off. Alrighty, last match. Ooh, okay, a goddess team. I'm alright with a goddess team. I'm interested. I haven't fought a goddess team with Chandler yet, so I'm interested to see how it plays. 
Uh, I can only assume you have Tarmia Link. No. Uh, I guess you probably won't have Tarmia Link at all then. Which is interesting. I guess. Do we. Eh. Oh, is it a bot too? That's kind of unfortunate. Damn. It's so weird. It's the middle of the day, which I guess it's a work day. So I guess people might be at work, but I'm working too. <laughs> Play the game. Either way. Uh, Tarmiel's stance could be quite an issue. Um, having the stance cancel would be really good. Even if it was a level 2. Come on, man. Give me something. It's fine, though. Alright. He's buffing up. He's using double Liz card, which is interesting play from a bot. I mean, obviously, the, it's not going to use the team like super efficiently or anything. The fact that it uses that card first is also not good. Disabling Liz, not good. Um... Well, 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 well. Might as well go for the melee ult at this point. Um, do I, who do I hit? She's already. Well, damn, I don't need to use that actually. Let me move this, hit that, hit this. We'll save the AoE card, encroach, and ult next turn. Well, never mind. Tarmiel has an ultimate removal card. And he'd be dumb to not use that. <laughs> Predictable. Either way. I don't know. Final thoughts on this Chandler. I don't think he's that bad. I think he's okay at best. I don't think he's bringing anything to the table. But what are you going to do? I mean, he's an option, I guess. He's, you know, he can work in the sub slot. I'm always, I'm always for new sub slot units. I really can't, uh, can't say anything else about it like I just I really like having extra support like support is kind of what makes you know what what oils the machine to make it work I guess so you want to have uh, you want to have good support on your teams and I can't I uh, can't say anything about that so either way this is pretty much it I don't know if I really plan on messing around with him too much more than this uh, at least until a, a holy relic comes out or anything because I mean this is pretty much going to be the best team to use him on. I mean, you can, of course, use him with Trader Melee because he's boosting Pierce Rate and everything, but it, he really just doesn't make that much of a difference from what I've seen, and I don't know. He's he's okay. It's whatever. So either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you you know haven't subscribed already, uh, already uh, feel free to subscribe because it's, it's free. It's free. Um, and yeah, that's it for me. So see you guys in the next one. All right, that was pretty decent damage. Yeah, I mean, that's not bad. He's not doing bad damage. I don't know. See ya.